I'm still asking you questions and everything. But see, nigga, the main thing that people need to make sure is that they got, they got told right where they got the sin out of their lives. And they get trying to get the lie to the word of God. That's the most important thing. Right. Get your soul right with God. Not right. you. If somebody want to be a vegetarian or they want to eat this meat or that meat. All right. That's not important. It's not. So I got a question. If that's not important, what about when it says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, and verse 15, when it says, "But well, this is talking about when the Lord is going to come, right? This is this is has not ha, has not happened yet, right? It says for you before. He says, um, for behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh." And the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine flesh. And the abomination in the mouth shall be consumed together, says the Lord. So he's saying if you're eating swine in those days, he's going to kill you. That's what the Lord said. That's prophecy. That's prophetic. That's a prophecy. So if that's, that's not true, if you're telling anybody that you can eat anything. <laughs> so, so he just he just said that in, in the scriptures. Not, so what's that going into? First Timothy, Timothy four four says, "For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused." So the Lord, so Lord, so the God is hypocrite. Is God a hypocrite? For it is sanctified by the word of God. Is God is God a hypocrite, man? That don't mean when he say everything good. That don't mean he's talking about good to eat. Every is creature God, got its purpose. Is, is God a hypocrite, man? You, you already know God ain't no hypocrite. Yeah. So what if so what he say so what he say so so he say if I if he say in Malachi three and six that I'm for the Lord I change not. So if he say if I'm the Lord I change not, how did he gonna change how can he change from the old old testament and then he change the new testament? Right. That's not right. That's not right. You're saying the Lord changed. You're obviously pointing out the Lord changed. Pork still and pork the swine still no, listen, listen. the swine still listen, hold on, listen. You know, she said, are you saying, have you been born again? Been born, th 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 yes, I've been born again. The point is, if I if I'm been I've been born again. If I put flesh, if I put swine in my mouth, and Lord come back and I'm eating swine, He's going to destroy you. That's that's, that's okay. that ain't Bible. swine. That is the swine well, still, just, swine That's still. Isaiah 66 and 15. So is that not prophecy in the in the um, Old Testament? That's not what First Timothy four and four says. But what about Isaiah 66 and 15? You can't you can't refuse that that child that's in the Bible unless you don't believe that. You, and swine still you don't keep, believe it. Swine, so that means you don't believe Isaiah 6, 6 to 15. The Lord said he's going to. Well, the Lord said in, in, in the Bible that he's going to kill people that eat swine flesh. He don't change. He's not going to change his mind on that. He said, if you eating swine flesh in those days, the Lord said he's going to kill you. But that's how you get your life right with God, by keeping his commandments. Swine is killing people to this day. Right. Blood why you think big mom? Why think big mama get diabetes? Cause she eating swine's flesh. The Lord is putting judgment on you. Lord say, I heal, not make alive. Why you think mm -hmm. our people I always feel. have? Why you think our people always have high blood pressure? Because we eat. Because. So you think the Lord? The, Bible, the hell is not even. The hell is not. Even, the hell is not even a place. The hell is a. Hell is a. Hell is a, a condition. That ain't not that. So, let's, get the, the let's, get let's get it. The Bible is a Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're very studious. When it comes to the Bible, we're very studious when it comes to the Bible. So do you think, that, did the Lord eat swine? I, 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 I got a feeling with my husband, but hell is a place like you. Well, what, why, does, why does the, in Book of Revelation say hell and death will be thrown in the lake of fire? She a first lady in the church. She a church in the church. But why does it say in Revelation that hell and death will be thrown in the lake of fire if hell is a place? In Jonah, when he was in the well, he said he was in hell. Right, so John said he was in hell, but he was in, he was in the, he was in the well. Hell is a condition. David said that the sorrows of hell has come past about me. The Bible said hell is a place. So was where, David in where hell? What a word, what a thought. Where your thought don't even die. So you think you, so you think it's underground? You think hell is underground? Yes, I do. Look, I underground. But see, listen, it ain't underground. But see, listen. I, look, I done, I didn't had a death angel on me before. I didn't. Know, I've been walking with the Lord too long to say heaven and hell is not real. This is real. Say it's, we're, we're saying it's, hell is real, but it's a condition. The lake of fire mm -hmm. is real. The, the lake Bible of fire said is it's real. It's a punishment. The, okay, so this, so when the Lord said He's going to throw the, hell, the death in hell in the lake of fire, the lake of fire, what does that mean? Yeah. Let's get it. Uh-uh. Because guess what? All this back and forth is not going to prove nothing. But point is, it's written by the word truth. It says, "Throw this, so thyself approved." The who? 
The port can get the port gonna get you killed. No, though. it ain't. Doing, doing things, wifely sinning, going against the word of God. That's wifely sinning. That's what I'm saying. Why would you the Lord allow you to eat a dirty animal, sister? That's the dirtiest uh, animal ever that in the ain't, world. Uh-uh. Nah. So you just want to eat swine, I'm, sister. I'm believing. I'm believing the word of God. Uh, and I'm that's not the word of God. That's the word of God. You just want to eat swine, sister. But you know, I do. That's why I asked you, do you believe the whole Bible, sis? And then I asked, and the brother brought out, do God change? You said he don't. You did. You said no, that. No, he don't change. So, that so where did he change at? That word. Forever said. <laughs> that, so what you what he changed that? See, that's the reason why we out here for our people, because our people in the churches is getting it getting mis again getting on straight. Uh, you know the Bible said in the last day it's gonna be scoffing. So I mean, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so this uh, is uh, 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 this revelation. You, you said, keep trying to go back and forth. He said the person that don't speak. Listen, sis. Listen, sis. Look. That's a he said the person that speak the oracles of God, he has uh -uh. no truth that's in him. That's why the Bible say right here. Right. That's first why the Bible Peter. Matthew say nineteen to sixteen. That's first. Get the first Peter. Go first. Uh -oh, the first Peter. Don't eat the pork. No, we, we doubt. We trying to. We doubt. It ain't no. It ain't it no, no arguing. It ain't about no pork. It is about. It's, it's Cause she be telling you, that. she deceiving you, sister. She saying you can eat pork. We telling you. The see, can't nobody deceive Big mama me, on the phone. Like, Big mama I can only love. deceive myself. It's yeah. what I take in. First thing to You taking in pork, sister? If any man speak, yeah. let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, minister. Big mama gonna be the stripper. All right, sister. All right, sister. Repent. And hey, you an Israelite, you're sister? An Israelite, come back to your heritage and car, keep the commandments. If you don't keep the, all the commandments, you gonna perish. That's right. This is serious. This is, this is the reason why we out here. You came over here. You asked what we want to talk. What we talking about? We talking about come back to your heritage and start keeping the commandments. That church, that pastor is leading y'all astray. That's right. You need to leave it alone. Acts seven and forty eight said, "How be the most I dwell not in temples made with hands." That's right. We still on the phone. I got that on video. Later on the phone, cap man. You got on video too. Yeah, I got on video. Hey, all crazy. I'm glad we got on though.